guys sorry my skin's all red waxing again i seem to always be waxing um before i do reviews which is a bit weird uh today i'm going to be doing a review on the cosmetic warrior by lush and it's a face mask and it's supposed to be one for people with acne prone skin that break out a lot or quite oily skin um however i have a uh, combination skin so I've got really dry spots and really oily spots so I guess it applies for combo too. I've been using this uh, for two weeks now. It expires really soon. That's the only downside of this thing is that it expires very fast. I'm just trying to find the expiry date because I don't actually know. Ooh, kind of I think it expires in a few days. Um, so that's the only downer but these are fresh. As you can see, the Cosmetic Warrior is a um, garlic based one, I think. And I'm going to be doing a demo on how you can apply it. So, first things first is you want to remove any face product you might have on. I just finished waxing, so I've got post wax uh, oil on my skin. So I'm just going to wash that off with a bit of cotton wool. I'm gonna tone my face and I'm gonna use the Lush's, um, I'm gonna use Lush's tea tree water. And the reason why I like toning my face is like I like removing all the dirt and opening up my pores before I do a face mask so um, I can let the mask penetrate my pores and <laughs> clear them out better. I had to think about that. So I have done a review on this toner water. It's amazing for people's spots too. So if you wanna see bit about this tone of water I will leave on. So that's done, you can start applying it. So it's like this and I tend to just apply it on my fingers. I don't know if there's any other method to do it. Um, I must mention this is supposed to be left in the fridge. I took it out of the fridge an hour ago, so I hope it's not bad in any way. But yeah, and I'm just gonna put this all over my face. It kinda smells a little funky, you guys, so don't get a bit creeped out. As you can see, it's not glamorous and beautiful. There are lumps all over. Um, that's supposed to be in there. There are little bits of garlic. Um, it's a bit weird the first time you do it, but then you get used to it. Um, I think the overwhelming smell is actually um, honey in here. The honey is what really stands out to me. So it's not that bad. It smells more of honey than it does of um, than it does of garlic. As you can see, there's still some left here, and this is my fourth usage now. Um, it's really good, it lasts a long time. The first thing you notice when you get this uh, little casing is that it's such a small container, and you're like, this is not gonna last. But remember, this expires in two to three weeks. Um, obviously, you need to keep it in the fridge, but it, it expires in two to three weeks, and I've used it four times because I'm a bit weird, and it's been the second week now. Um, yeah, I've used it twice. I mean four times in two weeks and it's <clears throat> it's lasting a lot so if you're not one to wear face masks a lot make sure you have a family member that will wear it with you because I've been using it all alone and it doesn't look like it's going to finish by the expiry date so I'm going to have to wear it because I wear it like twice a week um, but I'm going to have to wear it more often if I want to use up all the product not waste anything before it runs out. Um, so I'm going to go away for 10 minutes because that's the amount of time I'm supposed to leave this and then I'm going to show you how it looks like when it's dry. Then I'll wash it off and tell you more about this beautiful product. It's been 10 minutes and as you can see my face is completely dry. Um, you can see the texture all over a lot more. And I'm about to clean it off and show you the difference. So I washed the face mask 
off my face now. As you can see my hair is wet because I just came out of the bath. I didn't put anything else on my face, although I do recommend that you moisturize your face after the face mask. My face feels a lot cleaner, it's really soft, really smooth, and it feels a lot clearer too. It feels like some of the spots just dry up while you've got it on your face. It's amazing. Uh, I don't know, I just really like the face mask. It's really effective. You don't get a garlic after smell. All in all, this is an amazing mask and if you really want smooth skin and if you want to remove excess oil in some parts, this is perfect. I've only got like one big spot here and now the little one's here, but it really cleared up a lot. So, in my opinion, if you've got acne prone skin and you're looking for a good face mask that's going to not dry your face out completely but remove excess oil and remove spots, Cosmetic Warrior is definitely, definitely, definitely one to try. I hope this helped you out, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.